Hi everyone, welcome to Train Simulator 2016 from Dovetail Games. It's finally here. Uh, I did went ahead, not only did I have Train Sim 15 and I got the update, I also purchased Train Sim 16 to get the additional content and all some of the um, shiny bits and pieces which come along with it as well. Uh, they will also be rolling out free DLC for the next few months on the first week of every month, so that's I thought was worth it. Um, every, to begin with, this is going to be Train Sim 2016, which gets free content, um, but moving forward, there's also going to be some free content for uh, Train Sim 15 upgrade users as well, so that's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, I um, had a lot of call to do at Steam Train, so I'm going to stay away from the uh, Riviera line, 1950s Riviera line for now, and I found a nice little scenario, 25 minutes, just to get us into the Steam Train world, uh, driving the Black 5460 BR Black locomotive here uh, from the Somerset Dorset Joint Railway Services and our job is to go and do some um, goods shunting pick up uh, goods from Coal and Wincanton and head for Temple Coombe where they will be sorted 30 minutes easy and I thought that's a nice introduction to steam trains so let's select that and have a little play right here we are today many goods are being sent to market from Temple Coombe various goods from Cole and Wincanton to Temple Coombe by uh, 10 to 6, where they'll be sorted and sent around the country. Okay, fine. Um, so, oh, we've got a train moving. Look at that. Gorgeous. And look at this. We've got the beautiful old British Railway logo on our on our locomotive. Oh, that's amazing. I believe that's called the blood and custard look. Don't know why. All right, this scenario is all about keeping your freight safe and intact. Be careful braking, navigating bends, and whilst coupling. You'll be penalised for any damage to the goods. Begin with the wagons in coal siding 3, then siding 2, setting the junction manually. Okay, so uh, we need to couple with the, the wagons in... Okay, fine. Yep. Go. Go. So we need to collect these wagons. So let's have a... Oh, actually, which one was it first? Siding 3, then siding 2. Okay. So if we now look at... Zoom in. So this one is siding two, that one's siding three. So we need to come forward and then reset the links so we can go up there. Okay, fine. So let's head on in. Head on into the cab. Stick our head out the window as you really should do. Uh, put our regulator forward. Put a bit of pressure in. Take the brake off. Let the pressure build. Look at this fine, dapper young gentleman. Looking about. So I wonder what goods we are taking to market today. Obviously we're set in the 1940s, I'm guessing, by the uh, the truck over there. It looks like a 1940s build. Oh, hang on. Let's head over the other side. We've got training coming. Nice passenger train, look at that. Sweet, it's probably a little bit too close for comfort. All right, let's start to slow down. We just wanted to um, shunt forward a little bit to get over the tracks. Brilliant, okay. Now, um, where are we? Oops, center on player, please. We are there, okay. So the it's already set for us to go back and we want to go back into siding three first of all cool right brakes off let's start rolling back Plenty of pace. It's plenty of pace. More than we need, in fact. Just this um, roll back. I'm gonna have to set the uh, controls up so I'm not reliant on these uh, this GUI here, but uh, I haven't done that as yet. Right, 
Right, so we want to probably couple with these very slow speed. So 7 miles an hour is going to be far too qu quick. So let's just slow down. I want to touch him probably about 1 or 2 miles an hour. I think. Can we have a look? Just wanna nice and slow, nice and slow. There we go. Brilliant. Now we wanna creep forward. Hello mate, are you looking after your sheep dog? Is she fully trained? I hope so. She's got quite a pose going on there. And he's got a goat. Rather oddly. I I can I get the dog. But a goat? Okay. I'm not quer querying it, it's fine. I'm sure that makes perfect sense in uh, wherever we are. Coal. Coal station. Right, so we've picked up our first lot of cargo. Let's just bring it past the points. Apply a little bit of brake. I think we're picking those carriages up there in siding too. Come off the brake actually, because we want to roll a little bit forward so we get all the carriages past the points. Are we all past? We're all past. Fantastic. Right, let's just put a brakes on there. Now we want to switch that to siding 2, so we click on that, boom, now on siding 2 we should be able to go back up onto those and uh, we should be good to go and collect those wagons, whatever they are. Does it say what they are? No it doesn't. It's building the pressure up now. Ah, so we've got some boxes of stuff and we've got some um, gravel or something by looks of it. I can hear another chuffer coming in. Can't see it, mines. Okay. Uh, yes, we did set the, the points right, so we are cruising back on the right line. Fantastic. As I said, I've had Train Simulator in its various guises from 2013, I think, or maybe 2012. And I've only realised I've only got 20 hours on it, so I haven't played it anywhere near where I should have. Connect up! Oh, I think we fell just a little bit short. There we go, gotcha. We set off for Wing Canton where there are more wagons to pick up. Okay, fine. Hold the brakes on there, let's go forwards. Build some pressure and we can uh, rock on. Keep the pressures nice and green. Right, so forward we must go to Wing Canton. Oh, there it, here she comes. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Just reminds me of my toy train set I had when I was little, my little Hornby train set. Fantastic. They don't I don't think I don't think the love for trains has died. I think it's just they're just not I, I guess when I was younger, you know, I'm only thirty, but the old um like my father and uh, grandfather, yeah, they all remember steam trains. Uh, I don't. They were never not in service. Obviously, I've been on a steam train and seen steam trains um, now, but they tend to be in heritage museums and, and that kind of thing. Um, although there is still the, um, if you ever go up to Snowdon in North Wales, they still have an active uh, steam engine on there, right up to 70 miles an hour as the rain starts to pour. Right. 
we want to probably keep oops, keep the pressures green. Uh, yeah, and I think there's something far more romantic about the, the steam engine than there is about the modern uh, locos, you know, the diesels, the turbines, and all that kind of thing. Something very romantic about the steam engines. So I think maybe that's why its popularity, like train sets and stuff, has died or slowly dwindled. It's the noise as well, isn't it? Just look at the engineering going on. It looks amazing. Right, coming up to 24 miles now. We've got a 70 limit here. Look at this. Little church over there on the on the hillside. Rolling countryside, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right. So where are we where are we going? We are rocking down this rat line and we are going to down Wincanton Rail Yard. That's here. Oh, and we're doing a bit of a shuffle with some more goods, are we? Okay, fine. Looks good. The fire blazing away there. Look at that. Whoa, nice and toasty. Put, put an egg on the shovel. Make yourself a nice little egg sandwich. Lovely. Uh, up to 40 miles an hour. Going okay. It should be an easy scenario, so I don't think we'll need to uh, collect water or anything like that in this scenario. Uh, I've noticed we've got um, 3,900 gallons, so I think we were okay. So, Wind Canton is in 2.8 miles. We've got a little steam engine. Oh, beautiful. Some sheep in the field. Ah, it's a lovely part of the world, this, isn't it? And you'll notice how clear, whoops, how clear everything is on the side of the roads. Or inside of the rails. You know, we've got some bushes here which you you know are reasonably close to the tracks. But normally, you know, today's you've got you got where these uh, line of telegraph poles are, you've got loads of like um, trees and everything growing there. And kind of overhanging the line, but obviously they couldn't do that back in here because of the uh, the fire risk. So they used to clear a large sort of safe area to the side just in case there was any sparks or anything during the summer. So we didn't set the fields and stuff alike. Woo woo! Chugga 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 chugga. Brilliant sound. I just can't get enough of that sound. A little farm on the on the hillside there. Brilliant. <laughs> really nice little touches in this uh, in this scenario. So we've just got to check what we got. We've got some sort of um, very similar old bounty train. We've got one of our little storage wagons. I think these are just basic storage wagons, are they? Yeah, they just look like basic wagons, don't they, for shunting stuff. Got a couple of gravel, a couple of boxes of stuff. Right, we have 1.4 miles. Things are going great. Still stoking the fire. It's a little water gauge here. See the water level there? Brilliant. You can hear him shoveling away. 
putting the coal on the fire. As we just uh, stare around looking at the uh, countryside and enjoying the, the view we have. Well, why not? We are the driver after all. Ah, a couple of old cars up there. Hovering. Very posh one out front. Oop. Right, let's um, ease off the old thing and start to slow down a bit. Less than a mile now. You can just do a slow stop into the station. And that's a road. Over the bridge we go. Now you, you notice these are going red and green because um, I'm not being very efficient with my old steam. Uh, but again, it's an easy scenario, so hopefully we should be okay. Right, here we go, coming into Wind Canton. We may have slowed down a bit too soon, but it's better to slow down too soon than too late. I often have that problem in uh, subway games, slowing down far too late. Oh, we've got a truck. And a, oh, look at that. You know we're in Britain when you've got a red phone box. And the truck just disappeared. Brilliant. Here you go. Wind Canton Station. Isn't it pretty this is, and they are no doubt the goods, trains, we, uh, bits and bobs we need. Uh, so let's go past this. Oh, more sheep. More sheep, everyone. Uh, so we'll go past the points, because no doubt we're going to be backing into here. Yes, yeah, so we've got a couple of lots of goods there and there, so. Uh, there are two cattle vans. Okay, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow us down, slow us down. There are two cattle vans which you must couple directly behind your tent tender here. Okay, drop off all the wagons in siding two. Uh, set the junction manly, pick up the cattle trains, then couple. Okay, fine. And that, reading that, has made me shoot past the. Um, where I wanted to go. So I've gone straight past. Right, so it wants us to basically dump off what we have in siding two, which is siding two is there. So let's. Make sure we change the points for siding two. Okay, then we need to pick up these two from siding three, then recouple with the stuff we've got, then head to town. Okay, fine. That's fine. Perfect sense. So let's slowly start going back then. I don't know why we can't have the two uh, wagons on the back. Why do we have them have them right behind the train? I don't know. I guess it's just a shunting exercise to teach us how to shunt. Ah, the river. As we sit in this drizzle. Okay. We're pushing uphill, so it's a bit of a... Let's give it a bit more... Um, guts. There we go. Rah, rah, rah. Sounds like hard work, doesn't it? Looks amazing. Right. So we're just going to have to do a bit of a, a wagon shuffle. What's so special about these two wagons we are picking up? They're cows, did it say? Cow wagons. I'd have thought you'd want cows furthest away from um, the engine, because that would make them all... Um, ...nervous and stuff, wouldn't it? This is nice speed. Four, four or five miles an hour. 
What's that noise? Is that the bridge? I think that's the bridge. Right, so we're going to go in there, then pick up those two, and then pick up those again. Okay, fine. This is just practicing our, uh, our point changing, I think. Another locomotive there, look at that, it's probably another black by the looks of it. And um, yeah, so going forward I will be doing a lot of, trying to learn the steam trains, because who doesn't love steam trains? They've always been quite intimidating in the past, and hopefully um, they're going to be okay now. They've got the new driver assist, which looks pretty smart. It doesn't um, bother you if you're getting everything right, it just sort of glows on the... Uh, on the regulator or whatever it is, if it's not set perfectly or not set correctly, not perfectly. Um, it's just for like you know the basics. If you get something basic wrong, it'll start to flash. Okay, looking good, looking good. Let's start um, braking a wee bit. So we've got a bit of a, a barrier up there. Are we all in? Yes, we're all in. Okay, let's give it a little bit of wiggle room. There we go. I'm going to start applying the brake. Excellent. Right. Oh, the brake on, actually. Um, so we want to uncouple all of them, I think. Yes, that's right. Now we want to back onto those two there. Oh, they've got sheep in them. Ah, there's the guy with his sheep. Different guy with the sheep, I guess. Okay, thank you. We, we've got that. Right. So just rock forward a bit. Hopefully none of them will come with us. They shouldn't do. We've got to get these, these goods to market in 11 minutes. need to speed this up a little bit. Alright, is the train over? Yeah, the train's... There we go. Uh, two, yep. Right, so back up nice and slowly. Pick up these. It did say cows, but they are sheep by the looks of them. Okay, I think. There we go, we're having a few problems there. There we go, we're back and moving. We're rolling forward slightly. Oh, whoa, 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 I changed those points. I changed those points. This isn't going to help our timekeeping. Get forward, you cheaty. Go on. Okay, so a slight issue there. I don't know if it's because I hadn't moved too far enough forward, and maybe we were still on the actual line a touch, but um, yeah, I thought I'd change those points. Right. Now we're free of them. For sure. There we go. Let's just do a visual check. They look okay. Right. You're killing our time. But this is set in the 40s, 50s, whatever it is, so you know, time wasn't as important as it is today. You know, things were a little bit more laid back. Yeah, so they are definitely not connected this time. There we go. Now swing into this one. Siding three. Yes. Slow down a bit. Obviously, we like to sort of hook up about 
two miles an hour. These are sheep, so they may be a little bit more susceptible for anything. So let's just give a little, a little chuff. Bit of a running break. Brilliant. Right, so now forward to hook up onto these. Look at the little sheeps in there. Meh, meh, meh. Brilliant. Come on. Don't you worry, they're in safe hands, Governor. There's the controller and the, uh, the farmer. Looking a bit nervous. Don't worry. I've done this. Well, I haven't done this before, but it'd be fine. It'd be fine. I must admit, I do love this, um, this old fashioned British rail livery. You see it on that one, the blood and custard as they call it. It looks smart and and I can't imagine having goats and sheep um loose on the on the rail land would be a great idea in any shape or form. Okay, so this truck looks a bit more modern, doesn't it? Those blue ones, they look like nineteen forties, but that one looks nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties. I don't know. How old this train is. Right, let's come past those points. We're, we've, we've failed our um, timings in the scenario anyway, so let's just don't, don't need to worry about that at all. Uh, and now we need to change those to hook back up to those. Great! Let's just get on the back so we can keep a quick close eye on our sheeps. Has the rail points changed? Yes, they have. It's a good start. Here we go. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Come on. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Brilliant. Head to Temple Coombe uh, and reverse into Temple Coombe, lower siding one. You are scheduled to be there in five minutes. Try not to be late. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you kidding? Who are you trying to kid, bud? Right, okay, we got 50 mile speed at limit. Coming out of, uh, out of here. Let's get the pressure up. Let's have a quick look. How far have we got to go? Oh, man. And, okay, we're down to here, and that siding one is there. So we go, yeah, we're not going to do that. But we can at least enjoy the journey. So I'm thinking, as we come out of here, ah, there, 50 miles an hour speed limit. These are the 70 miles an hour in a second, so that's cool. So we can get up to speed now. This should be exciting. We should go to 70. Probably when the train is past it, I would have thought. Seventy miles an hour, there we go. We start to build up the, the speed. Oh here we go. Nothing's gonna stop us now.
Okay. 33 miles an hour, 34 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. Brilliant. Okay, we've got four minutes. Uh, ETA is um, 56 minutes past. We're six minutes behind schedule, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, considering... Well, it is a bad thing, but considering um, this is our first go, the main thing is completing the scenario without any major upsets and without blowing the boiler up. Oh. So when it does that, I'm not so sure what I need to do. I think it's probably when we're just um, stoking the fire and stuff, is it? No, you're still stoking the fire. Got the cows in the field, looking beautiful. This is really beautiful countryside around here. Shame about the weather, mind, but... Look at this, roaring through the English countryside. Is there a finer sight in the world? Probably not. It's absolutely gorgeous. And look at this livery. This livery, I love it. You know, the British railways, the old fashions lying over the what? Brilliant. Oh, little tractor in the field there. Like little John Deere. If you ever go have the fortune to go and see a steam agent, just check on the wheels. They are amazing. When you, it doesn't look like much, but when you see it in real life, it's just incredible. I've been fortunate to go on. Um, oh, we better slow down actually. Um, I've been fortunate to go on a couple of steam trains. And there's actually in my local town. They've got a really nice steam train, which I might actually go and take a ride on and uh, take some pictures. We've got a 50 mile an hour speed limit coming up in just under half a mile. Uh, fortunately, I brake far too early, um, so we're fine. So our time is now up. We've dropped another minute on our ETA, but that's okay. As I said, it's all about getting the scenario completed successfully without me failing it or crashing or derailing or blowing up the engine or, or something horrific and the more we do the better we'll get hopefully and the more proficient so I've got some really nice steam trains in the old um the inventory, which I've been basically buying DLCs for this game for years without actually playing them. I've got the A4s, I've got the uh, Flying Scotsman, some of the really nice big steam trains, big famous steam trains. Uh, green signal for us, I think that's what it means. I'm not up to speed on the... Uh, Okay, there's a 15 mile an hour speedo there, so let's um, just dab the brakes a touch. It says we're speeding, but we're not. I think I was just a bit slow. And we've got a choo-choo in front of us, which is interesting. Um, okay. Are we going beside it, or I'm I'm a little bit worried about speeding up, just in case. Um, yeah, we don't. It's a standoff. Oops, wrong one. I oh, know we're going to go around it. That's fine, okay. Wait, hang on, let me just check. Yep, yeah, we're going to go around it. Okay, that's fine. Yep, 
He looks pretty dormant anyway. I don't think he's actually... Um, I don't think the boiler's fired on that one. So I think we're okay. Drama over. All right. Okay, we're around them. That's fine. Cool. Small danger averted. You see the red signal as we were coming off there. That's good. Okay, I was a bit worried then. So, we've got half a mile into um, Temple Coombe lower siding one. We are gaining a little bit of um, speed. So we're just going to slow it down a bit. So here we here we come. So lower siding one is there. Okay. So this is lower siding one, I think. So let's quench the power and coast for a bit. And this must be the guy who's after the sheep. He's got his vans there, look at that, and his good trucks as well. Lower siding one, there is the one. Okay, so we just start to slow the brake. make sure they all come past the points because we don't have a, an issue what we did last time. Have they all passed? Right, that should be going to lower. Right. Put the brakes on there. Let me just double check down the far end, make sure it has gone all past. Yeah, and that looks like it. That looks like it's set right. Good. Okay. After the last debacle, I'm not going to take it for chance. We're just going to do it properly. We're five minutes late, six minutes late already. So there's no rush. Let's just get it done. Woof. Big old plume of smoke. Come on. Come on, baby. Keep an eye on this one just so we don't go into the little um, stopper board at the end. Start turning. Yeah. Everything's coming back nicely. Don't screw it up now. Just nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. There we go. Brilliant. And we're in. We're in the siding. We're waiting for our timer. I think we are good. Are we good? Um, I 
Oh, does it want me to go a little bit further? No, it's got a little waiting symbol. There we go. Time, time, timeliness penalty of minus eight thousand and forty-four. Wow, that's expensive. Um, you have completed all your pickups and arrived in Temple Koo. Good work, apart from all the penalties. There we go. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't a disaster. Well, actually, now reading this, so we got two thousand three hundred and forty-three XP for that. Uh, we got a couple of speeding minus points, but that's not too bad. 19 and a 15, 19 and 15, 18 and 15. That's obviously we're slowing down coming into it. And then we got it, minus 8,044 points for our, our poor timely keeping. Ah, well. Ah, well, it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's okay. As you can see, how many years have I had this game? I'm only just over a level 5. So I've got a lot of work to do. But we've got loads of good stuff to uh, to play with. So if I come in here and I show you... Not in here, sorry. So if I come in here... Um, and I show you my locos. You can see I've got quite a few. I've got the A4 Pacifics. I've got all so loads of uh, the ice and the uh, electric trains. I've got the uh, GWR King Class. The uh, Flying Scotsman. The... Uh, the BR class, J894. I'm not a big train person, so I don't know what the numbers and stuff mean. It's, they're just cool looking trains. And so I've got a number of trains, and I've got a number of routes as well. So as you can see, I've got a lot of the UK routes. Um, uh, I've got a couple of American routes. I've got the Isle of Wight routes. I've got some German routes, the New York routes. Uh, I've got quite a few, actually. And these are normally just buying the uh, the various games at different stages, and you just get all the uh, the routes chucked in as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we've got plenty we can go and explore with this. But that's been the first introduction to Train Sim 2016. Not a huge overhaul from 2015, but it is uh, obviously it's got different graphics. It's uh, i.e. the menu screen's got different graphics. The UI interface has been improved. The uh, academy's been updated, and the uh, driver assist has been improved as well. And they also added content, like, as I say, with the Riviera Line in the 1950s, which looks sweet with the castle. Uh, and the range locomotives which are amazing um, I think I'm going to concentrate a little bit on steam to begin with or maybe we do we'll, we can mix it up I haven't decided yet but anyway I'm waffling on um, you've seen enough you probably want to go out and play it yourself so yep yeah, I'll leave it there thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time